Tarek Skubal ready for his 12th start of the season, his eighth career start against the White Sox. He'll do so under 69 degree cloudy skies here in Detroit. Well, what I've seen here lately is his ability to change speeds, using his change up a lot more effectively. The slider was a plus pitch for him in his last outing. Obviously, the fastball command, pitching ahead in the count and being able to get to those secondary pitches, which can be wipeout pitches. He'll need to do that tonight. Tim Anderson at the plate. There's a base hit. About seven for eight leading off a game against Scooble. Up the middle. Zach Short will flip it to McKinstry, but he can't beat Anderson to the bag. And good hustle on the part of Tim Anderson. I mean, he was burning it to get to second base, and he beat the throw. So two on with nobody out for Robert. Swing and miss. Fastball up. Luis Robert Jr. just waved at the fastball up. Tigers have really done a nice job against the most dangerous hitter in this lineup. Line drive, right field. Carpenter's got a beat on it. Read it well. Anderson did too. He will tag and move to third, but there are two away. Yes, sir. The slider worked. And Scooble strands a pair. Jose Urania on for a sixth start. Way too many walks, as you've seen. Hopefully he gets the ball over today, and we'll see how he pitches, pitches to his former mates. Hey. And he'll strike out Badu right on cue. Derek Thomas says you swung, and that's all it takes. Zach McKinstry was 0 for 4 last night. But one for one today. That's a solid piece of hitting. He had an approach. He stuck to it. Torkelson drills one left field on a base hit. First and second, but only one away here on the first for Kerry Carpenter. On the ground to Vaughn. And they'll get one at second. First and third. Walked him, and the bases are loaded. Here comes Tyler Nevin. Reina's 1-0 pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Anderson will scoop and underhand to second. Some scary moments in the first, but no score as we head to the second. Vaughn Thompson and Lenin Sosa left the zone and strikes out the third punch out for Tarek Skubal already. No problem. Back to back strikeouts in the second for Skubal. Needed just three pitches to force Thompson to sit down. There's two away. Ground ball to third. Veerling behind it. Another good inning for Terry Scooby. Jake Rogers with one out and no one on. No score. Rogers with a line drive to left. There's a base hit. That's his 100th career hit. Jake Rogers and comes here with one out in the second. 3 0 fastball was a non competitive pitch ball out of hand. Fastball down and away. A walk to Zach Short, a couple of men on. Tim will pick it up and it's going to be close. He got him. Puts runners at second and third for the second inning in a row. Now leads it up to Zach McKinstry to get him home. Up the middle of the base. Oh, almost a base hit. An infield single, if you will. Sosa able to reach out and stare that on the backhand. But by keeping that ball from center field, keeps short from scoring. Rogers scores. It is an RBI single for Zach McKinstry. Tigers have given Tarek Skubal one nothing lead. We enter the third. Skubal strikes out Tim Anderson. Looking. And already his fifth punch out of the night. The 3 2 swing and miss. He went back to the changeup and gets his sixth strikeout to end the third inning. Well, let's just say that at this point, Scoogle's pretty confident out there. He's only allowed a couple of base runners, and he's in attack mode. Quick work of Eloy Jimenez. Now Tarek Scoogle has retired 10 of the last 11, 7 on strikeouts. This one's playable. Akil Badu is right there. Oh, another one, two, three inning for Tarek Skubal. Tarek Skubal gets the seven, eight, and nine hitters here in the fifth. He has been dynamite so far. He's fooling them on the changeup, but they're also looking for that, and he's freezing them with that good fastball. Veerly with a leap and a grab to steal one away from Trace Thompson to start the fifth. That was headed into the left field corner. Would have been extra bases for Trace Thompson. Instead, it's the first out here in the fifth. That's a base hit. That 5.5 hole. Down and in, and Lenin hit it hard. And winds up with the second Sox hit tonight. Got it. Nasty change up from Scooble. Give him eight punch outs on the night. Strikes him out to end the inning. If that's the end of the day for Turk Scooble, and it likely is, he ends it with an exclamation point with his ninth strikeout. Alex Fajardo takes over on the mound. Blows him away with high heat in the zone. Upstairs, two away. 2-2, two -two, swing and a miss. He overpowered him with the fastball in. Cotta strikes out. Couple of strikeouts for Faido. 11 for Tigers pitchers tonight. Matt Veerling to face the new pitcher, Luis Patino. Two line drive, left center. That's going to drop for a base hit over the field. The quickly on one hop, Benintendi. 
good to see these swings from Matt Beerling. Fastball low, and he walks Tyler Nevin on four pitches. All four on a slider in the dirt. That will load the bases. The Tigers with another good run scoring opportunity. Bases loaded, one away for Zach Short. Walked him. In comes another run. Two nothing Tigers. It's three walks in the inning, and the Tigers now have a two run lead. There's Matt Vierling. He's had a good night. Been on base twice, scored a run. Fly ball deep left field. Get out of here. That ball is out of here. First home run since June 16th, and Vierling has given the Tigers a three nothing lead. It's a couple of hits and a homer here tonight for Vierling. Foley's got shoulder length curly hair. A solid mustache. He'll actually throw to Yasmani Grandal on the hit for Lee. Line toward the right field corner. Carpenter will collect it. He's on his way to second, and he's got a double. Man in scoring position for the White Sox here. Luis Robert Jr. at the plate. There's a base hit. Grandal will score. First run of the night for the White Sox. It's three to one. Alex laying on the mound got the final out stranded two in the eighth inning and Keats if they can hold on they win the season series from Chicago and with the season series from every team in the division for the first time since 2011 Vaughn grounds it to third Fearling tough hop but a nice play to get Vaughn by a step and a half got him swinging two away Remember, there go that man, and that's that nasty breaking ball right there, that knuckle curveball. One more to get in the form of Lenin Sosa. Got him! A four out save for Lang. The Tigers win the season series from every opponent in the AL Central. And giving the win to Tarek Skubal, who was brilliant in this game. Great pitching by the Tigers tonight, and some timely hitting from Matt Veerling. 3 1 the wrap up.